HSMWorks 2D Adaptive Clearing is the most powerful toolpath in its class. Not only is it using the latest roughing strategies to remove material faster, but it will also help increase your tool life and limit machine wear. Let's take a quick look. I will select 2D Milling on the Command Manager and then 2D Adaptive Clearing from the dropdown. We are then presented with the properties to the left. The five tabs are always the same in HSMWorks. They stay in the same order and has the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using HSMWorks. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feeds and speeds. Let me click on the library button to access the tool library. There will be another video on the tool library, but let me just give you a quick tour. At the bottom, you can create a new mill tool, new tool holder, new turning tool, and then edit and select tools when we add them here in our workspace. To the left, we have our tool library, and HSMWorks already comes with many tools so you can get the job done quick. I am going to scroll down and select the tutorial folder, and here at the top I have a 16mm flat end mill. I am going to click once to highlight it, and then I can move down to the bottom and either click select if this is a tool I want to use, or click edit. This will open up all the information about the selected tool. One of my favorites is the cutter tab. Here you can change the dimensions of your cutter. Making this kind of adjustments should be easy. The 2D Adaptive Tool Strategy is going to calculate the material between the specified stock and your SOLIDWORKS model. The benefit is a constant chip load on your tool and this will let you use the entire flute length and many times let you double the feeds and speeds versus other tool path. Let me hit OK and then select the tool. The second tab is Geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine, and I am going to select the bottom edge right on our SOLIDWORKS model and uncheck Machine Cavities. The great thing is, if there is a change later to our model, HSMWorks will know and you can update the toolpath with a click of a button. You do not have to reprogram your part. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. The fourth tab is the Passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. Here you can change the radial load on the cutter, if more depths are needed, and since this is a roughing cut, you will see HSMWorks already have stock to leave turned on, so we can have a little material left over for a finishing operation. The fifth and the last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in material. You have control over such things as stay down levels between the cutter being engaged with the material. It does not take much effort in HSMWorks to create a high efficient toolpath using today's technologies. Let me click OK, and if I click Simulate and Play, you will see that we have created a roughing toolpath with a constant chip load with just a few clicks.